From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a major afternoon here on Afternoons L8 as big stimulus checks are landing in Americans' hands. $300,000 of stimulus checks, fast stimulus, 18 months of checks, $3,000 a month, and about five checks per month. We'll have the latest details in today's recording. The first of the breaking news, indication that we could be going into a hard recession. What is a hard recession and what was said today about it? It's all brand new today on Afternoons. Then, the ISM report came in and it was way too hot. This is the third consecutive days of hot inflationary numbers. It's not particularly good, but then we turned to business travel and that was flat in the new projections. Wow, what's going on? I have the latest across the board. Then why is December 13th and 14th so critical? On the 13th, we get the CPI for inflation and the 14th, we get the data from the Federal Reserve. That is why you need to get all these incredible stimulus checks. $300,000 of stimulus checks became law in the month of March. Viewers have been getting them ever since on this channel. Welcome to LA and over this one hour broadcast, I'll go over these 18 months of stimulus checks that viewers have gotten and how you can get them as well. It's a lot of money and you deserve this money right now, especially if you're on SSI, SSDI and VA. It's everywhere. It's important to remember it's not from your state, number one. Number two, it's important to remember that you need to move fast and it's also not for one particular group, it's for you. You qualify. You pounce these incredible checks over this broadcast. We'll be looking at these big checks, fast stimulus, about $3,000 a month, about six, five checks per month. Plus, more breaking news today as we get ready for a big warning signal. Our savings gone in 2023. Is Americans' savings accounts gone? Are they wiped out? Have they been used up by early 2023? A brand new report this morning, but minutes ago, a brand new other report. It's all brand new today. Then auto earnings beat, and guess what? You're going to see the LA Late Christmas tree for the first time. This is not it, but I used something that I saw at the Christmas tree park as my inspiration. It's a big day, and it's a big afternoon, and I'm excited you're here. And yes, it's holiday edition. Happy holidays, happy stimulus, happy uh, lobster shorts. No, that's not a holiday I celebrate. <laughs> From the shorts of Santa Monica, California. I mean, they do in Kentucky at least, but I don't celebrate lobster short day. It's just not one of my holidays of celebration. Let's get to the breaking news. It all starts right now. Good afternoon, everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful day. One of the holidays I do celebrate is National Bacon Awareness Day. And I'm aware there's no bacon here. <laughs> I just came up with that. Uh, and it's a big day today. We're going to go over a lot of situations. Your economy, your recession, your in inflation, and of course your benefit raise. The latest details on the housing market, your unemployment, and your forced stimulus all heat up. The breaking news today on Afternoons LA Holiday Edition. Big stimulus is now available to millions of Americans. It's been available since the month of March. If you just found this channel, welcome. I'm going to teach you how to learn and earn and get this sums of money in this recording. It's a big recording with a lot of checks. $300,000 of stimulus checks passed in March. Fast stimulus, 18 months of it, $3,000 a month, and five checks per month. Let's go over what these are. They are big. They were passed by Joseph Biden and Congress. And these stimulus checks have been gotten by viewers of this channel ever since. Got it last month. They're getting it this month. Once you get approved, it's automatically in your direct deposits. You don't have to do anything after you're approved. And we're going to go over all those incredible details, these checks, in just a second. It's for you. Here are some things you need to know about these checks, which are absolutely everywhere. Number one, you need to hit and move really fast. Number two, they are not from your state. Number three, it's important to remember that you need to apply right today. They're not from any particular group. These incredible checks have been around since the month of March. And here's one of the things you need to know. Number one... Back in February of this year, 
I was the only American broadcaster to record that the U.S. economy would be going to recession. I predicted the recession would start in January 2023. That's now just 30 days away. And I said it was going to be a very, very severe recession for two years. My viewers immediately said at the time in February, if that's the case, I'll like, give me some darn stimulus checks. They said that in March, 30 days after I warned about a recession. And guess what happened? I heard you light and clear in March, and I immediately found checks that night. I got lucky because they got passed by President of the United States, Joe Biden, by executive action. The first three checks that day, as soon as they became law that day, I immediately recorded them on this channel. And they started to fill out my triple mandate for myself for your checks. Number one, I want to make sure we're getting big checks, tens of thousands of dollars of stimulus checks, because I was predicting, and I still am, a two-year recession. A two-year recession, you need financial freedom. And so those measly, ridiculous $600 checks, $1,200 $1, checks, $2,000 stimulus checks, ain't going to pay anyone's bills for two years. They'll pay your bills for one month, two weeks. Yeah, you need tens of thousands of dollars to survive a two-year recession. Number two, broad eligibility. Broad eligibility. And we got that, plus we got the big sums of money. Broad eligibility. I want to make sure you qualify. There's only two things you need to know about eligibility. And they're very easy. Number one. If you're a single individual, you make $75,000 less, then you qualify. That's it. If you make $75,000 less, you qualify. If you're a married couple and you make $150,000 less, you qualify. That's all you need to know. So we got big amounts of checks, tens of thousands of dollars, easy to qualify, nothing else to ask about because it's just those two factors, $75,000 or less or one fifty dollars less if you're a married couple. Then third item is I wanted to make it easy for you to get these incredible checks. And the way I did it, the LA Light newsletter. Nowhere else in the face of broadcasting is there anything like this. What I have in that LA Light newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alerts, is the links, the applications, all you need to know to get these incredible checks. Rather than just sort of running my mouth and having you take notes as I talk potentially too fast, because sometimes I talk really fast. <laughs> Slow it down, LA. <laughs> uh, so, uh, for you to take notes, that would not be as effective that would not be as effective as me actually sending you something to go in, bam, apply, bam, apply. And that is the membership newsletter. Congratulations to nearly 100 new members in the last 24 hours. Now, here's what's important to remember, and you can see more about this today on Evening to LA. These checks are law. They've been law since the month of March. Viewers have been getting them since the month of March. And they're paying about 18 months on a monthly basis. Once you're approved, it's automatic. They're coming on a monthly basis. It's that straightforward. The stimulus covered on this channel is not predicting stimulus. It's not maybe it'll pass. This is actually pass, and viewers actually have the money. So welcome if you found this channel. Get away from all that predicting sorcerer stimulus. We are not here to be the Harry Potters of stimulus. We're here to be the cash in the checks. And let's go into the breaking news first, right today, that impacts that stimulus. The breaking news right today is that Jamie Dimon, who's head of J.P. Morgan Chase, detailed on this channel extensively over the last two years, said in February, when I said in February, we are going to recession. I don't think so, is what he said at the time. Well, guess what he said today? Today he said that it's very, very possible we could be suffering a hard recession. Wow, what a change of uh, opinions by Jamie Dimon. <laughs> Not change of opinions by me, because I've been predicting this since February. What is a hard recession? Let me tell you what he's saying. He says, when you're looking out forward, those things may not go very well and may derail the economy and may cause a mild or hard recession that people may worry about. What's a hard recession? A hard recession is basically what I've been predicting. Two-year recession, number one. Everyone's impacted across the board, number two. And number three, unlike any of the prior recession. Why do we know that's going to happen? Because... The first recession of 2000 was isolated. It only hit the savings and loan industry. So if you were not exposed to the banking industry, you were not impacted. Number two, the 2008 recession it hit the housing market for people who are flipping homes and also hit people in the tech industry from the tech bubble. If you're not exposed to either, you were not impacted across the board. This recession, however, will be different. Everyone's going to be impacted because it's a universal recession. So it's a mild recession. We're in and out in just two, three months. Not going to happen. What is a hard recession? Hard recession means we're going to have these big problems for a while. We're going to go more about this later on Evenings LA. ISM report, too hot. Here we go. Another day, another inflation report, 
too hot. What does too hot mean? It means inflation has not gone down. It means Jay Powell and the Federal Reserve try to get inflation down has not got it at work. On Wednesday, we had the producer price, excuse me, the uh, personal consumption expenditure index, the PCE, revealed, and it went up that inflation month to month and year to date. Then on Friday, the biggest concern of all of them, the wage inflation, big time, up 6% in the latest jobs number released on Friday. And then today, another report, the manufacturing report, ISM, showed that manufacturing is too hot, and this is a big concern about inflation yet again. Now, on another flip, we have the business travel that potentially is going to be flat. This is a surprise, and this is actually cooling down, not hotter. Uh, the head of United Airlines said today that it feels like business travel and this is uh, is that business travel is plateauing, which means it's flattening out. And this is probably indicative of pre-recessionary kinds of behavior, uh, even though our total revenue is still going up. So he says business travel is flattening out, meaning less people are buying of those trips for business travel. That's not good news because that's signaling that the U.S. economy may be slowing. December 13th and 14th are two days that are making news today. Why? And both of those days, you should be on this channel. Number one, December 13th will be the CPI release for the month of November. That's the last inflationary report of the year. And boy, you already saw in this recording, three inflationary reports since Wednesday all went up. It's likely that the CPI will go up as well. Then December 14th is the critical hour in which j Powell has the final FOMC meeting of the year at the Federal Reserve. And they're likely to raise interest rates either 50 or 75 basis points, and they have a lot of inflation to deal with going into that meeting. Then, two other breaking news stories coming up in just a second. But first, let's go into these incredible stimulus checks. Let's understand where these stimulus checks are, how they work, and what you need to know about these checks. First, they are huge. They are Federal stimulus, about $300,000. Fast stimulus, paying out 48 hours in some cases. 18 months of checks is averaging for viewers' this channel. They're getting on average about $3,000 a month over five checks. What are these checks? They are federal stimulus checks. What are federal stimulus checks? They're for the federal government. In a daily life, you interact with your local politics and your federal politics. What is your local politics? Your city your county, and your state. How much money does your city, county, and state have? Uh, about this much. <laughs> uh, it's a, about as much personality that that, that, that particular senator has. <laughs> it's about that much. Or zero. <laughs> you know which one it is. Uh, then, how much, what's the second political branch? The federal government. Congress, the president, the Senate, the House. How much money do they have? They have this type of money. Massive amount of money. So your city county state has always been broke. It's always been broke and near to broke. And the federal government's always been very rich. And so that's why you always want to focus on federal stimulus from the people who have a lot of money for you. And that is what we're going to go over in this incredible recording. And without waiting even a second, let's look at those incredible federal stimulus checks right now to understand where they came from and why they are so darn big. These incredible federal stimulus checks started in the month of March. As soon as viewers said, go find them, I found them that night. Thank goodness. Passed by Joseph Biden, they started by executive action, checks A, B, and C. And they amount to about $100,000. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get them. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get them. And if you're on benefits, go get them as well. How do you get them? You watch this video, you stay with me over this one-hour broadcast, and you go into this video, you join the video, you get ready to get all, join the channel and get ready to get all these incredible checks. Remember, you qualify. These first three checks, A, B, and C, which I'm going to go over with you in a second, $100,000. Then came Congress. And Congress passed more checks, checks E through K, bringing us to hundreds of checks. And where are they? They are all in the membership newsletter. Because then I found you other checks, L and M, N and O, P and Q. Again, they're all in the LA Light newsletter, the talk of the town. And in that L.A. newsletter delivered from me to you, 7 o'clock Pacific, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time are all those checks. They're just delivered. The newsletter is delivered from me to you via YouTube alerts. You go down that YouTube alert, 7 o'clock Pacific, 10 o'clock Eastern, 9 o'clock Central, pass the guy at the surfboard, down the alert until it says View Post. Click where it says View Post, and surprise, surprise, you are right in that newsletter. And there is 
the newsletter right there. You go right in and apply for each of these incredible checks, one at a time. Purple Power, you deserve these big sums of money, and we're going to go over these incredible sums of money in just a second. But let's go into the other two breaking news stories hitting right now. First, um, AutoZone beat on top and bottom. How? How is that possible? AutoZone, which of course is an auto parts retailer, we all thought was going to miss because that other auto parts retailer last week missed. Used car sales are down. New car sales are down. I drove by three. I drove by three dealerships um, yesterday. Ghost town. <laughs> ghost town. Hello, anyone there? It was just a ghost town. <laughs> so AutoZone beat on top and bottom. The analysis was fascinating today. I just think it's a little bit uh, comical. The analysis was, no one could afford a car, so they're repairing their old, falling apart car. <laughs> I just love that type of analysis. No one bought a car, so they're just repairing their falling apart car, and that's why AutoZone was up. Okay, so that would explain why low, why low should be up tomorrow, because no one can afford to buy a new home. They're just fixing their old broken down home rather than just throwing it in the in the salvage yard. <laughs> uh, some of this analysis sometimes is so funny. It just doesn't, it's just comical how much it does not make sense. <laughs> now, not funny, because we got to get serious on this one. This is not funny at all, is this story. American savings could be gone by 2023. And on Evenings L8, which is in two hours after this show, you're going to see me record something slightly different on this. I'll explain to you why in just a second. First, let me tell you how it started today, which is how Evenings was already taped earlier on the day before this show. It started again with Jamie Dimon, head of J.P. Morgan Chase, and he said the following. He said that consumers had a lot of saved up savings from the pandemic stimulus. Now, the people he's referring to is not you. I'll make this very clear in a second. He said that consumers had saved up $1.5 million in savings from pandemic stimulus programs. So that's the first stimulus package of 2020, the second one from 2022. Then he said that they're spending 10% more than they did in 2021. Then he said inflation's eroding everything. And here you go, drum roll, drama. Jamie Dimon said, that $1.5 trillion that Americans had saved up will be gone by middle of next year. Gone. Americans will use up all their savings. Why? This is Jamie Dimon still. Two reasons. One, they're spending out of control. They're just spending out of control. They're not spending because the item is more expensive. They're just spending. The example is normally you would take one a vacation per year. They're taking five vacations a year. You don't have to take five vacations. You're just spending money like it's going out of style. Number two... The items are more expensive because of inflation. So that's eating away at your savings. That vacation, let's say it's normally $500, now it's $900. So suddenly you're spending out of control, not you again, this is other people who don't watch this channel. And then what's happening is that the items you're buying are a lot more expensive because of inflation. Okay, so hold up. This is why you have to watch every show on this channel. Now, right now, I'm going to tell you that I have a new twist on this that is different than Evening's I Like, which comes up after the show in two hours because that show was taped out of order earlier today. Chief economist at KPMG appeared on TV just about five minutes before I went on air. And she was asked about Jamie Dimon and that quote I just ran for you. She said, no, I don't agree. She said, the people who still have some savings that will run out in early 2023 that Jamie Dimon's referring to are middle class to higher income individuals. They still have some savings saved up. She said anyone that's lower income individuals who did not get enormous pandemic stimulus, their savings already ran out. Okay, this is very, very serious, folks, because that is basically referring to people that are like you, but they're not watching this channel. Let's put this all together, because I know that's a lot to digest. Let's put this all together. First, we're going to start with American Express and Bank of America. And you all heard this over the last three months. Bank of America and American Express said, Americans are spending on their credit card out of control the most they've ever spent before. That's number one. Number two, you and I all believe that they're going to run, uh, that consumers are going to run out of credit card availability because they're just, they're going to max out their credit cards. Number two, we have Jamie Dimon, J.P. Morgan Chase saying, this is how much savings people have. And then we have this other economist at another bank, KPMG, saying, no, 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 they have less savings. So if you take all this together, 
and err on the caution, what does it collectively say? It says that people are spending too, money, too much money, which all three economists say, or bankers all agree, number one. Number two, they all three agree that they do not have unlimited savings. Number four, they, if they are low-income individuals, have already, already diluted, ran out, reduced to zero their savings account. It's gone. If they're middle class, and I think what she's going on, here's just my spin on what she's saying. I think what she's going on is that she thinks they're middle class. They may have qualified for bigger stimulus items in 2020. So they may have gotten 150000 in stimulus in, in 2020, where if you're low income, maybe you only got $1,800. They got 150000 So that's why they have a lot more stimulus still saved up that can carry it six months later than you. The totality is, it means that, again, not you, that people who are not watching today's broadcast that are low income may have used up their savings, number one. They're spending 10% more than they did last year, according to Jamie Dimon, number two. Number three, their credit card usage is out of control, the largest of a generation. Number four, they're out of cash. Their savings are wiped out right now in December. If they're low income and if they're middle class to upper middle class, their savings are going to be wiped out by early spring of next year. Either way, whether it's this show or the, or the show coming up on evenings, whether they're wiped out cash, if their savings are wiped out already in December, or they're going to be wiped out in early spring, either situation means the same thing for this channel. It means there's going to be a lot more Purple Hawks. You see the, sc you see the sky with these number of Purple Hawks, imagine it tripled. We've already seen the membership of this channel surge in the last two days. We've already seen the viewership of the video surge very dramatically. Because people are starting to hurt more than ever. So let's go right into some stimulus checks. Uh, now that you understand the worrisome signal, let's go right into those stimulus checks right now. Those first three checks are checks A, B, and C. Let's get some stimulus starting right now. Check A is a $6,500 to $12,000. Fourth stimulus check in every U.S. state. It's a lot. Do you want a $12,000 stimulus check? Of course you do. This is going to help establish some financial freedom for you as we start this recession. And this is beautiful. Single individual, 75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, 150,000 less, go get it. And if you're on benefits, go get it as well. How do you get it? You go into the video, become a member right away. Then get that membership newsletter. Again, watch the time zone. Watch the time zone. Monday through Friday, 7 o'clock, my time on the West Coast. 10 o'clock, Eastern Standard Time. That's New York and New Jersey. 9 o'clock Central. That's like St. Louis and Kansas City. Go down that YouTube alerts. Hit the link and go right into the membership newsletter. Then apply for some credible checks. A, these are great checks that Spelly and and uh, and Kimberly got. You deserve these incredible checks. Then you're going to go get some check B, fifteen to eighty thousand dollars of stimulus checks. These check Bs are the ones that are paying out a lot. These are the ones that are people are getting those monster eighteen months, three thousand five checks. Yeah. It's coming generally from check B. So check B should be among your big focuses. And it certainly was for Frank Mancuso. Frank Mancuso joined this channel less than 30 days. Look what he got. It's happening all the time, folks. Happening all the time. 18 months, all your utilities, and then your, your rent or your mortgage. That's how people are getting big sums of money. You're not stopping there yet. You're going to go under the membership newsletter and go down to check C. Check C is for your rent, your utilities, and also your mortgage. Viewers always ask me in recent days because you've been asking really, really smart questions. I'm loving how much you're learning. Can I get some checks? Can I get some rent from check B? Yeah, I, I've seen viewers get rent from check B. But check C, of course, is the, the leader on those incredible check Cs. And here it is across the board. At Check C, mortgage, rent, utilities, and more. How do you get it? Go down the membership newsletter until you see Check C. It tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it for those incredible Check Cs. Let's look at some of the success stories that viewers have had. Do you want $30,000 of rent? Well, join this channel. Get some incredible Check Cs. How about $15,000 of utilities? Go down to this video, join this channel, and get some Check Cs. Here is... Uh, Mark's brother-in-law, Jimmy, back here was Mark. He got this for utilities. The brother-in-law got fifteen thousand, then a quarter million dollars for Snap over ten years. And here's Mark, thirty-two thousand dollars of stimulus checks for Mark. He got from this channel as a member. Then he went to fifty thousand dollars of stimulus checks, Mark. And then he went to one hundred thousand of the stimulus checks. Then one hundred and sixty-six thousand of stimulus checks. 
Here's Nisi. She was at $23,000 of stimulus checks. She went to $50,000 of stimulus checks. Then here's Lorraine. She was at one hundred five. She went to one hundred and fifty-five thousand dollars of stimulus checks. On evening to LA tonight, you go. You meet Link Len, who had gotten already for herself initially four or five or six stimulus checks. But I taught her how to learn to earn, and then she went to twenty-four stimulus checks at least because she got fourteen months of of her, her utilities, which is five checks per month, and then 12 months of her rent. Well, the breaking news tonight on Lynn Glenn is that she has learned to earn and help other people. So she has helped a family member get 12 months of rent. It's what you can do as well. What you do is you go into this video, become a member, go into the video, join the channel, and go into the video and subscribe. You need to get these incredible sums of checks because whether it's KPMG saying Americans' savings accounts have run out right now, if they're low income or middle class, if it's Jamie Dimon saying they're going to run out in 2023, you can't wait across the board. And then that auto earnings beat is a big shocker. And we'll go over more of the big shockers we're expecting this uh, on evenings tonight. Plus, we'll be looking at the big shockers on the after the market numbers as well. But in the big second half, we're going to go over more stimulus checks. Then we go back to the Christmas tree park, plus a field trip I took last night to another community to look at their beautiful, I thought was going to be beautiful, Christmas decorations, and they weren't. So what did I do? I went back to this video at the Christmas tree park, and what did I do? I took inspiration from the massive tree for the LA Lake Christmas tree. And you'll see what I saw there and how I imported it into our own family. It's coming up, the first look at the LA Lake Christmas tree in the big second half, plus, that is not the LA Christmas tree, that's the inspiration tree. And plus, we'll be going over more stimulus from the shores of Santa Monica, California. It's a big, bold, beautiful day. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds as more money more news, and more Christmas heats up this special edition of Holidays Alight on Afternoons. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues in a big second half on the shores of Santa Monica, California, when we go back to the Christmas tree park and then use the inspiration for the LA Christmas tree, shown for the first time in today's broadcast. It's huge. Plus, we're going to go over those incredible stimulus checks, the continuations of checks E through K, and we'll also get a preview of tonight's show from Santa Monica, California for evenings. How are you? Happy holidays. In this big second half, we continue with those big, bold, beautiful checks and uh, if you ask in the live chat, because I know you are, because I'm looking at myself right now, you look a little hot. Yeah, because I was climbing a Christmas tree. <laughs> I was climbing a Christmas tree right before recording this. So I, yeah. 
you're wondering why I look a little bit hot. Uh, let's go to this incredible continuation of the stimulus check. Check E is a $7,500 stimulus check. Check F is a beautiful stimulus check with an air conditioner for the host of LA. <laughs> yeah, that's sort of what I need right now. Uh, who gets hot in the middle of winter? Yeah, well, when you're climbing Christmas trees, you get hot. Check F, a $4,000 stimulus check. Then check G is a beautiful... 30% uh, off stimulus check. Then check H, $2,000 stimulus check. Love it. Uh, check I, a beautiful $8,000 stimulus check. Love it. Check J, $8,000 stimulus check. Love it. Check K, $14,000 stimulus check. Love it. We weren't done there yet because I wanted to find you more stimulus, and I did. And I searched on I found you. Check L, $100,000 on average of loan is free money for a brand new home, and then $4,000 Stimulus check to go with it, M, then N, my favorite stimulus item. Brand new tablet, computer, and laptop. John Maloof got it, then Spelly, then Lynn Glenn. All incredible. Brand new tablet, computer, laptop, whichever one you want for this holiday season, and also free internet. Stimulus N, go get it right now. All in the membership newsletter, go down. Then Stimulus O, zero down payment, zero closing costs on a brand new mortgage, first time homeowner, and then P, 3% for a refi and $8,000 of stimulus for you as, as well. There you go. Let's learn a little bit more about these federal stimulus checks, these FSCs, these Santa stimulus, these December stimuluses, these beautiful, beautiful Christmas stimuluses. Largest check, $100,000. Smallest check, $8,000. Fastest rally time, two days. Johnny started on Monday. He By Wednesday, he had $45,000. By Friday, he got 15 applications in for stimulus. He had eight stimulus checks approved, and he had eight stimulus applications rejected. That gave him $80,000. Then the next week, he helped mom and dad. Mom, he got $50,000 of stimulus checks. Dad, $50,000 of stimulus checks. Then over the next few weeks, he helped 20 friends and neighbors get each, uh, excuse me, total, a quarter million dollars of stimulus checks. What are these FSC checks? We have the Homer Bears, the home appliances, the car, the computer, the tablet, the internet, the rent, the utilities, the mortgage. It's a lot of stimulus and it's absolutely incredible. Now, in addition to these federal stimulus checks, which are huge, and you're seeing these big numbers, there are smaller numbers available for inflation relief stimulus checks. ISC, like icing on the cake, because it's not the cake, it's like the icing. They're about $1,000, they're nice. They're in the membership newsletter down to check D, go in there and it tells you which state and how to learn the details about them. And then a lifetime stimulus, because once your benefits go up, they never go down. You are getting four raises. You are getting a, you are already underway with a current raise of 5.9%, the let's use this month for example this month of december uh or actually let's use last month let's use november uh, last month you're currently getting 5.9 percent raise compared to the prior year well guess what happens in january 2023 you get an 8.7 percent raise on top of the 5.9 percent and that raise that bigger amount comes every month in 2023 then in January 2024, you get about 2 to 4% additional on top of that. Why? Because inflation is still going to be around next year. And the year after that, another 2 to 4% raise on top of that. That's on top of the 2.4 from the previous year. Why? Because there's going to be another year of inflation on top of that. It's incredible. So by the fourth year, 2024, you are the largest check of a generation. It never goes down. Once it goes up, it never goes down. And then your cost of living will be cheaper as a generation. That's why you want to watch this channel. And that's why you want to get all these incredible stimulus checks, because guess what? The stimulus featured on this channel has been law, has been paid since the month of March to viewers of this channel. And in March, what did I say? A recession is coming in January 2023. We now know it's true. We also now know that my predictions about a recession were very, very clear at the time, two years. Most people are saying it's going to be two years as well. We do not have universal agreement with me yet about saying it's a hard recession, something that's either hard or mild. And we have no indication today that my predictions that inflation was not going to go away when I said it was going to go to 8% in December of last year and not go away anytime soon. Well, guess what? It still has not gone away. Inflation has not gone away. Recession's just 30 days away. Why would you err on anything? 
And guess what you got right? You got right in saying that people's savings account would go, could, were going to disappear early next year. You are absolutely right. That's what Jamie Dimon says. But remember that other economist today said after Jamie Dimon that she believes that low-income individuals who did not get monster six-figure stimulus in 2020, their savings are already gone. Wow. And with that, let's go back to the Christmas tree park. In today's, in today's Afternoon to L.A. holiday edition, you're going to see for the very first time just a glimpse of the L.A. Christmas tree. What did I do? What happened yesterday? And what did I think about just a few minutes before coming on camera? So yesterday evening, I went out to see some more Christmas decorations. I love, you know, just driving around and going into hotels and seeing how they do decorations because often they get the most talented designers with a big uh, price tag to do great, beautiful endeavors for them. So where did I obviously go? I expected one of the best designs of this entire area with the place that has the biggest budget possible, Beverly Hills. So I went to the city of Beverly Hills yesterday to drive around to see their beautiful decorations in the city, not from the private organizations, not from the department stores or the stores or the biz or the families, from actually the city, because the city has a fortune because of property taxes and business taxes. And when I drove by, what did I see? Cheapness. <laughs> no other way to say it. Uh, just really cheap tacky stuff. <laughs> just really cheap cheap tacky stuff sort of like uh, stuff that would be in the kentucky senator's office it's just it, what was i looking at <laughs> as as ann said i like purple but i don't like purple with green yeah that's what it was let me describe what they had um imagine there is a cobweb cobweb on your ceiling yeah this is not going well <laughs> a cobweb on your ceiling that's sort of going like this and then imagine it's purple and imagine there's another one behind it that's green and it's going over it that was their decoration. Now, I'm not saying that was like a part of the decoration. That was the whole decoration. <laughs> a cobweb that goes like this, it's purple, and then it go one goes over it that's green haphazardly. It wasn't like the person, you know, um, uh, needs glasses and couldn't tell that it was crooked. That was the way it was made. So the fact that someone made this, <laughs> designed this, and then the city of Santa uh, Beverly Hills bought this and hung it... Um, I, I don't know. Takeaway is number one, cheap as hell, tacky as hell. Say Beverly Hills should be ashamed of themselves. I mean, if they're trying to get people to come to their town and spend money or be tourists, these were the cheapest darn decorations I've ever seen in my life. It's just disgraceful. Now, if you're in Missouri, you probably know this because I have never heard of this place. And I'm probably going to butcher it because I didn't look it up again to remind myself the correct name. But I think it's called Silver Dollar. I was on Twitter last night, and for some reason it popped up. Someone said, I got sent this these pictures by a family member, and it said Silver Dollar near Branson. I said, in Branson? Well, it's not in Branson, sort of near Branson, uh, Missouri. And boy, if you've never heard of it, because I've never heard of it, and I'm butcher, if I'm, it's Silver something, I think it's Silver Dollar. Silver Springs, or, yeah, I think it's Silver Dollar. Uh, 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 just Google it. You're going to be shocked. You are going to be shocked. As the person had said on Twitter, I like the person on Twitter said, I like Disneyland for, for Christmas decorations. Folks, I've never seen Christmas decorations like this. This was just mind-blowing. I mean, for the United States. Now, we have some places overseas that just do incredible stuff. But it shows you that it doesn't require money to do something beautiful. It doesn't require um, opulence to do something beautiful. It just requires some thought and with that, I immediately took my inspiration to heart. And let's go back to that Christmas tree park right now. So here is the Christmas tree park feature essentially on this channel. It's not a Christmas tree park, but I call it the Christmas tree park. It's, it's an area in which people shop. And here is the tree of inspiration. A lot of um, reality TV shows that are home design shows say, take something as your inspiration. And I love this as my inspiration. Why did I like it? One, it's a skinny, tall tree. The L.A. Christmas tree this year is also skinny and tall, not particularly fat. It's skinny and tall, just like this one. Number two, um, it, it, it really has a perfect triangular shape to it, like the L.A. Christmas tree. And number three, I just liked how simplistic it is from afar. Now, 
obviously the LA Christmas tree is not tall like this. <laughs> This tree, I don't know what this tree costs. I mean, the tree and the decorations, yeah, it's a, a, a home in the Midwest is cheaper than this tree. Um, but this tree gives you a lot of inspiration. So what were the inspirations I got from this tree? Number one, focus on the shape, because that shape is really beautiful. It's a beautiful shape of a tree. And number two, maybe this year just do all white lights. I mean, I've done all white lights in previous years. Some years I've done white and then color and then color and white. Color's great because color um, creates a lot of variety. Jump in the light shop, which one you like? Do you like color? Do you like white? Um, and uh, Brian Kelly, who's always watching our LA2 shows, he's been doing his Christmas decorations since I think September for his community. So I loved um, the shape and then the, the white lights. So then... Now, let me give a disclaimer. This is shot in the thick of darkness. There's no moonlight. This is literally the thick of darkness. So the lights look brighter than they are. Imagine if I filmed this during daylight, the tree, the lights would not look as dense. Uh, here is what I thought to myself. There is a very big contrast you see in this picture. One is the smaller trees, where you see the green coming through. The second one is the large, the, the Christmas tree itself. There is no green coming through really at all. There's a lot of lights in that large Christmas tree. So to get the magnitude of those type of lights on a tree in a home would take enormous amount of effort. So don't kill yourself. That is too much of an effort to get any tree in a house to be that dense in lights. Rather, I prefer really the smaller trees and how much density they have they're doing about, what, a 30% density on the lights, so you do see a lot of green. And with that came my inspiration for the L.A. Christmas tree. Here you go. Here is the L.A. Christmas tree for the first time in just preview mode. Went up just a few hours ago, uh, and hence why I'm sweating. And that L.A. Christmas tree is dense, but not as dense as the inspiration tree. All white lights. And a lot of them, but not as dense as the um, inspiration tree. What I did was I kept a pattern of understanding how much lights I wanted in there. Then when I was done, I stepped back and I looked and I said, did I miss any spots where my density was not as dense? So you'll see in this close-up, and I'm going to show you the longer shot in the next few weeks, because this is a work in progress. This is not the finished process, is you see that the density of the lights is consistent across the board. So, question number one, do you like a tree without ornaments? <laughs> Sometimes the trees are so nice just about the ornaments. Do you think you like a tree without ornaments? Jump in the live chat. And number three, do you use the right um, ladder when doing Christmas ornaments? So, this is totally random, but I got to tell you. The L.A. Christmas tree today is too tall for me, and so you normally use a stepladder, but stepladder is not particularly safe. So I started using the uh, stepladder. I thought, I don't like the stepladder. It's not particularly safe, and you, don't, you do not want to lay it on the Christmas tree. Well, I happen to have with me something I absolutely adore. Maybe I'll have to film this for another show. If you need a very, very sensible ladder, there's a series of brand-new ladders that have been out over the last few years that modify in shape with a pull of the sides, and then go higher, go lower. These are fully aluminum. They're very light. They are very strong. The weight capacity, I think, is three, four, five, six hundred pounds, so they can really hold a lot of people. And I got to tell you, I adored doing the tree with that ladder, because that ladder was so stable, really was not going to move, was so well adjustable. You could adjust to go higher, go lower, and you really felt great in that ladder. The brand I used was Gorilla from Home Depot. It's very, 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 very cheap um, for ladders. I think it was, in fact, one of the cheapest ladders. And I kept it in the in the in the upside down uh, V pattern. So like a yeah, an upside down V. It absolutely worked beautifully. So prepare accordingly, and prepare for that stimulus. Go right in this video and get some big stimulus checks. And I'll see you tonight on Evening's LA. It's a big show tonight at five o'clock. Yes, this is before the commentary came from that economist at KPM who said that no individuals who are low income, their savings have been used up already. Very different analysis than you saw on this show. I'll see you tonight at Evening's at five o'clock. Stay informed, stay focused, become a member and save LA for more.